Welcome back with a new video about atmospheric pressure and practice on conversion units of pressure. Look at this experiment, which proves that atmospheric pressure or air pressure exists. Atmospheric pressure is applied in all directions as it's shown here that the atmospheric pressure is pushing upward preventing the car from falling down. Welcome to Schooler, your online school. You may check your understanding by solving the individual questions. And good luck. Here is another evidence on atmospheric pressure, where I'm going to suck the air from inside a plastic bottle. And it's squashed because of the atmospheric pressure on the outside of the bottle while there is no air inside to support the walls of the bottle from inside. Atmospheric pressure is the pressure exerted by air. Usually the formula for pressure is the force divided by the area. So to calculate the atmospheric pressure we should find the weight of a column of air divided by the area below that column. The unit of force in SI units is a newton while the unit of area is meter square so the unit for the pressure is going to be in newton per meter square or which is called pascal and it's abbreviated by PA atmospheric pressure used to be measured in the past using a device called mercury barometer which was invented by an Italian physicist his name is Invigilista Turcelli and to build the barometer he filled a one meter glass tube with mercury then he immersed the tube upside down in a dish filled with mercury. The level of mercury inside the glass tube dropped a little and then stopped. And since that, the mouth of the test tube is totally immersed in mercury, the volume above the mercury column inside the glass tube is vacuum. The level of mercury inside the glass tube couldn't go all the way down because of the atmospheric pressure exerted on the surface of mercury in the dish. If we take two points, one at the surface of mercury in the dish and another one at the same level inside the tube. Since these two points are at the same level in the same liquid, they should be under the same pressure, which means that the atmospheric pressure is equal to the pressure exerted by the column of mercury inside the tube above the surface. Now if we take that barometer to the sea level, we are going to notice that the level of mercury equivalent to the atmospheric pressure is going to be equal to 760 millimeter of mercury. Now let's move to our second objective in this video, which is practice on conversion units of pressure. Even though that the SI unit for pressure is Pascal, but still in some questions you may have pressure in different units, like atmosphere, millimeters of mercury which is also known as tor, bar, and pounds per square inch. One thing to mention before we practice on conversion units of pressure is STP, standard temperature and pressure. Standard temperature means zero degrees Celsius, while standard pressure means one atmosphere. Now let's practice on conversion units of pressure. I'm going to perform the following pressure conversions using conversion factors. If you still need more help on conversion factors, you may find the link in the description box. In the first exercise, we have to convert 100 millimeters of mercury to Pascal. We should use the relationship between millimeters of mercury and Pascal, which is given in the table. One millimeter of mercury is equal to 133.322 Pascal. 
So we start with the given 100 millimeters of mercury, we multiply it with a fraction. Since the given number is millimeters of mercury, so we put millimeters of mercury in the denominator. And the unit that we want, we put it in the numerator, which is Pascal. And we put 1 next to millimeters of mercury, and next to Pascal, we write 133.322 Pascal. Then we do the multiplication. We cancel the similar units between numerators and denominators, and the answer is going to be 13,332.2 Pascal. Exercise B, 3.2 times 10 to the power 5 Pascal. We have to convert it to atmosphere. We start with the given, 3.2 times 10 to the power 5 Pascal. We multiply it with a fraction. We put Pascal in the denominator and atmosphere in the numerator. We put 1 next to atmosphere, and next to Pascal we write 101325. We cancel similar units between denominator and numerators. Then we multiply, and the answer is going to be 3.16 atmosphere. Exercise C, we have to convert 1.5 atmosphere to kilopascal. In the table above, we don't have a relation between atmosphere and kilopascal. So here we have to convert atmosphere to pascal first, and then from Pascal to kilopascal using two conversion factors. So we start with the given 1.5 atmosphere, we multiply it with a fraction, we put atmosphere in the denominator and Pascal in the numerator, 1 next to atmosphere and next to Pascal 101325, then we multiply with another fraction, since Pascal was in the numerator in the first fraction, so it's going to be in the denominator in the second fraction, and kilopascal in the numerator in the second fraction. Then we put 1 next to kilopascal, and next to pascals, 1000. We cross the similar units between denominators and numerators. And then we multiply all numerators together, and then we divide them with the denominators. And the answer is going to be 151.9875 kilopascal. Exercise D, we have to convert 0 0.5 atmosphere to pounds per square inch. Since we don't have a relation between atmosphere and PSI, we have to convert atmosphere to Pascal first, then from Pascal to PSI using two conversion factors. So we start with the given 0 0.5 atmosphere and multiply it with a fraction, atmosphere in the denominator and Pascal in the numerator, 1 next to atmosphere and next to Pascal we write 101325. We multiply with another fraction. Since Pascal was in the numerator in the first fraction, so it's going to be in the denominator in the second one. And PSI is going to be in the numerator, 1 next to PSI, and next to Pascal we write 6.89286 times 10 to the power 3. We cancel similar units between denominators and numerators, we multiply numerators together, we divide them with the denominators, and the answer is going to be 7.35 PSI. And now you are ready to solve the end of video questions, if you are not, repeat the video again, otherwise solve the questions put your answer in the comment section if you have any question that i didn't cover in the video please share it with me in the comment section share this video with your friends subscribe to my channel to stay tuned for more videos see you in other videos and good luck